What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bill Stunner, 502, back with another video. And I said I was going to bring y'all the Cutlass Bill, and the weather looks gloomy outside. So we're just going to show y'all basically the Cutlass, what I got done to it, under the hood. Just a little knickknacks of the Cutlass, you know what I'm saying? Still a work in progress, but... I drove this thing an hour back from out of town. And I drove good on the highway besides the owner telling me it needed new shocks. So we put new shocks on it, brand new tires, windshield wipers, gas cap, alternator, heater core. Uh, changed the bulbs out in the back. Gave it a nice old detail, because that's what I do, detail. And, uh, basically just let y'all see what the cutlass looks like in depth. So, we're going to get into this right now. While I'm on lunch, shoot this quick little video, show y'all the cutlass. And y'all ready? Y'all ready to see the cutlass? I don't know if y'all ready, but y'all probably seen it on my little short nip. But, yeah, here goes the cutlass. paint work but that's the least of my worries right now paint is going to be last all four brand new tires we got them stopped this is probably the baddest part on the car this panel right here the owner said that the previous owner I directed right there so we think about getting a new fender I said if we can get that one fixed this is an old Mobile Cutlass Supreme with the top. It's a dual exhaust. Need to pull my bumper out. As you can see, this one's pushed in more than this one. Gonna get new pipes ran on it. Brand new tires all the way around, like I said. Pretty much a G body with the Euro front. And we're going to take a look in this inside. Let y'all show, let y'all see how clean it is for what I got it for. This is pretty much a good car. So, we got the little rust down here. We show all the flaws. It really ain't bad that, that I can sand that down and have that painted. But, as you can see, all the door panels is intact. Dash. Of course, the gas is cracked from probably being in the sun in and out. But look at my interior, man. Stupid clean. Stupid clean. Stupid clean detail. It wasn't much I had to do but just get all the dust out. Order new mats for this thing. Pretty much clean. Show y'all under the hood. Can make a video? Yeah, shoot my YouTube video. Everybody say what up to my old supervisor, Mr. Allen. But yeah, yeah let's get under this hood. Check this thing out. Clean under the hood. Pretty much was clean, but I had to add my little touch on the detail. Wipe him down real good. Got the 307 in here. As y'all can see the little aspects on it. This is a small block V8. New alternator. Help the guy change my heater core over here. So we the heater core, brand new heater core in here. Got cold air, thunder A, I mean uh AC. It's got the heat, got the radiator flush, transmission's good, got new oil change, like I said, new, new um, shocks, new tires, got to get the brakes done, I'm going to get another tune-up, uh, 
I was thinking about going chrome under here a little bit, but there's too much work when you're going chrome parts. You got to uh, sand them down to make sure they fit all. You're going to have a bunch of leaks. So basically probably just keep it black, maybe change this out chrome. Like I see a lot of old schools with that chrome. New, sh new windshield wipers. I need to get my uh, washer fluid. It doesn't shoot out when I'm trying to spray the windows off. So I got to find out if the hose is clogged up or what I can do for that. I want to get a new battery, uh, new pipes ran, so uh, let me start this thing up so y'all can hear it real quick. Just had it started, I ain't drove it in about a week, so did you see how clean it is, the headline is not falling, I had to fix this, this one was it had an old one in here, so I just threw the original one in there. It had like an aftermarket looking one. But I want this thing all original. But you can see the seats. I already got a new wheel for this wood. We're going to throw the wood in here with the detachable steering wheel. So we take that off. Got alarm on it. Got the club. So y'all ain't going to be taking this once I get that new wheel on here and I take the wheel off. But, uh. Yeah, let's crank this thing up. Start right up. Y'all can hear it. Let's have Flowmaster exhaust on it. Uh, 141,000, miles, which is like brand new on these cars. Because the motors are built to last. You got the pipes on there. Open this trunk, let y'all check out the trunk too. But uh, yeah, I'm just making a video because I'm bored. Out here playing around with the cutlass. Bought a car cover for it. Keep it nice and you know what I'm saying? Keep it from the weather because the weather is bad in Kentucky, the snow. So it was perfect timing to get one. See the trunk clean. Everything original in here. Still got the stern wheel. Don't mind my little detail stuff. Gotta keep the details. Gotta keep a little tool kit. Gotta keep some cables in here because you know it's an old school, but we're gonna get a jump box. So the paint's not too bad. It's got us little flaws here and there, but plan on going back the same original color. It's like a champagne rose, co rose color. I'm just thinking about throwing 20s on here with the bulbs. I don't know if I want to go wire spoke wheels because people say they leak, they bend easy. I was going to go 22s, but I think with all the potholes here, might not do 22s, but, but 22s will look good on her because I heard you probably just have to lift it a little bit. No, uh, no cutting or nothing. I want to keep it all stock. Don't cut no wheel wells or none of that. So, but yeah. Get in the comment section, man, and tell me what y'all think about the cutlass. Still got the original Oldsmobile plate on the front. I'm going to keep that on there. The new floor mats, I found a website that basically got everything for this car, everything. So, pretty much my baby. So, I got the other car. This car is gonna be baby, not drove that much. Maybe on the weekends or maybe here and out through the week, depending on the weather. But yeah. Somebody said cutlass, man. Get in them comments section. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know, turn on all post notifications. I know I'll be late with the videos, but y'all can be prepared when I drop a video. You know what I'm saying? So, if you like old schools, this is pretty much going to be coming on there. Like, once I get stuff that I need to get done, I'm going to start filming the cutlass again. But...
like a lot of stuff I did already and didn't even bring the cutlass to the channel. Like, like I said, this is all brand new tires all the way around. Brand new shocks. If y'all can see under there, see I need pipe work. I need new pipes. I'm gonna get all new pipes up there. And I'm filming this with my phone, so pretty much not going to get under the car and let y'all see everything. Like I showed y'all under the hood, showed y'all the trunk, showed you the interior. Let me pop this other door so y'all can see how clean this is on the other side too, though. The doors pretty much, uh, like how people shut those doors and they shut. Same on this side too, everything plush. Car, it never been detailed, so I had to put my little sauce to it. Headline of glass, all the lights working in here, had purple tint on it. From the tent getting old, took that off. Seats go up. Everything shine down, probably need another wipe down. Because I probably ain't, I haven't detailed it again since I don't know when, but. You see the plastic on the floor. We don't play no games, man. Keep my thing clean. I need to get a new shift. Nah. I need to find this and get the whole piece replaced. But that's a small thing. We want to make sure we knock out all the big stuff first. So, what y'all know about these old roll-down windows? No automatic in here. But... We do have rear defrost and all other stuff. Let me show you how this door shuts. Simple. You can tell. Oh, that's, that went hard enough. So. You know what I'm saying? So, you know it's been well taken care of. And one of the guys thought that was neat, made by Fisher still in there. This car has all the trim pieces. Everything's still on. All the trim pieces. Like I said, it needs paint work. But that's the least of my worries right now. Got the Euro front that everybody wants. G body. Oldsmobile. I used to have an Oldsmobile Regency back in the day. I think a 98 Regency, the shortcut. We call them shortcuts down here. And I'm back with Oldsmobile, gang. That's crazy because I used to have an Oldsmobile back in the day. And I always wanted a Chevy Caprice because I love the box Chevys. The box Chevys, there's so much stuff you can do to them. So many people riding them. I always wanted a box Chevy. But when I saw this come available, I jumped on it. Who wouldn't want a two-door old school that's a G-body that's clean? You know what I'm saying? With the small motor, 307. V8, this door, good too. Both doors had that same little rust around the bottom. But that's the only rust I've seen no more. And I want to see what's under this top. Because they said these tops be having surface rust on them. But like I said, when I get it painted, then we'll have the top taken off and put back on. And uh, to find out what's under there. So we, we don't want no rust. We want to kill all the rust. I'm going to undercoat the body. The bottom part. Well, if y'all can see, I started undercoating this right here. All this black. I had already started spraying. But I want to put it on the lift. That work. Undercoat the whole body. But watch this door. Shuts too. Just like the other one. Like everything's intact, man. The top. We got all the lights, everything back there. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, man. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. But yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Support your boy, man. Just share the channel, man. I told you I was going to bring the cutlass to the channel. Got it in my little storage spot. I keep it over here low when I'm not driving it. Like I said, it's got the alarm on it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, we just putting them together slowly, but for sure, you know what I'm saying? No rush. Not going to sell it unless the money's right, but 
pretty much gonna keep this thing forever. Keep the stock, I mean not keep the stock, eventually put wheels on it, but it looks good stock. Not in a rush to hurry up and do stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna get it done on my time, you know what I'm saying? It's not going nowhere and we're gonna make sure everything's tight. Just put, just get this thing and just ride wherever. If it's an hour or two hours away, I wanted to make sure it's set tight on the road to ride. So like I said, new shocks on her, this new tires, rides just like a new school. But it ain't nothing like them old schools, man. Nothing. Nothing with them, nothing. It ain't nothing like them old schools. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And be on the lookout for more videos. I'll post them when I can post them. Got some fun content I might want to post. Then I'll post them. But for now, this your boy Bill Stunner 502 checking out with another video. And we rep that gang gang like CJ on 32s, man. That's 32 gang, man. The only way to go is up. And that's how we going, man, forever. Because up, man, you got to start somewhere. You can't just take a big leap. You got to take baby steps to your goals, man. Just keep your mind focused on your goals. And you can go anywhere, man. I, I didn't never think I'd be able to own the old school. You know what I'm saying? That, that, let alone two cars. My daily that I drive every day, the white thing, the Kia go. If y'all haven't seen the Kia on Vogue's, 18-inch Vogue's. And 18 inch white wheels with the machine face to match everything on the car, man. That's my daily. And this is my toy. I never thought I'd be able to. But you just keep your mind straight, keep stay positive, and work towards your goals, man. You can get anything you want out here and don't wait. Go out and get it now. If you think you can get it, you can. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to wait until you're about to retire to enjoy the good stuff in life, man. So this is one of my goals, to always have an old school, link up with the fellas, pull the old schools out, and ride with all the rest of the old school. But thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what y'all think about the Cutlass, and I'm gone like last year, but I'm going to be back like tomorrow. Bam.